Good morning, dear students. Today we are going to deal with Unit 3 entitled Sport, and this will be covered in two weeks' time week 4 and week 5. The first thing we are dealing with is the item vocabulary and terms. First thing is the provision of the technical term for the following definitions. A person who watches sport is called a spectator. A person who loves sport is called a fan. A person who teaches sport is a coach. A person who makes sure that rules are followed is a referee. A person who Play sport without being paid or for free is an amateur, which is the opposite of a professional. A professional is a person who plays or does sport as his job for money or for return. It's abbreviated as PRO. Then we move to the second item, which is idioms. The idioms this time are related to sport in general and football in particular. For example, the idiom to be on the ball means to be able to think or react very quickly. The idiom to move the goalpost means change the rules and limits, making something more difficult. Then the idiom take your eyes off the ball means lose concentration. A level playing field means a fair situation. A whole new ball game, a completely new, different situation. To score an own goal means do something or say something which has the opposite effect to your intention. To start the ball rolling means to start something happening. Then we move to another exercise or another item entitled vocabulary self plus abstract noun an abstract noun is the opposite of concrete noun so abstract means intangible and concrete means tangible so we have the collocation or the combination self and another abstract noun like the abstract noun self respect so the abstract noun here is respect and we have self-respect which means being happy about your characters and abilities being happy about your characters and abilities is referred to as self-respect means you respect your yourself by having your character and abilities you are happy with them the certainty, be careful about the certainty, means confidence. That you can do something successfully, it's referred to as self-confidence. To behave calmly and sensibly, even when you are angry, excited or upset, this means that you have self-control. The use of force to protect yourself when you are attacked is referred to as self-defense. Making yourself do the things that you should do is uh, referred to as self-discipline. Means you are organized and you can do you, you, the things that you should do. So you are more disciplined and more organized, so you have self-discipline. Becoming better at something, better is to develop, so we have self-development. That's all for this part. We come to the other one, the next item, which is write the abstract nouns that are related to the following adjectives. So we change the adjective into a noun, like Curtis. The abstract, this abstract adjective is Curtis, so we have the abstract noun is courtesy. Tolerant is an adjective. It has the abstract noun tolerance. So coordinated, the adjective is turned into coordination as a noun. Flexible 
flexibility agile agile means flexible or uh, lenient or uh, very slim so agile you have the ability to move so agile means agility the adjective is agile and the noun is agility calm is the adjective it can be calm or calmness we have another exercise or another item which uh, has to do with the provision of the right adjective so we have the term for example expert referring to the definition having special skills or knowledge of a subject so having special skills or subject skills or knowledge of a subject is an expert someone who has special skills and knowledge is referred to as an expert number two annoyed or upset by something that's not acceptable disgusted this is the right adjective that describes this phrase we come to the word very great or impressive is referred to as phenomenal and phenomenal means something fabulous not allowed by the law is number four meaning it means illegal number five very determined to succeed or get what you want is aggressive aggressive here doesn't mean aggressive means hostile or adwani but here aggressive has the positive meaning of uh, determination to do something or to make success number six sudden surprising exciting and impressive it is referred to as dramatic dramatic is something dramatic which means sudden and surprising and at the same time exciting and impressive number seven we have doing a sport or activity as your job it's professional as we have referred to as the opposite of amateur so if you do something or do sport or do an activity as a professional or as your job for money for example this professional if you do it as a hobby or for fun this is an amateur then we come to the grammar item or the item of grammar here we have in unit 3 what is called quantifiers so we use different quantifiers with plural countable nouns and uncountable nouns or the first section the first section here is plural countable nouns we use few or a few or many or several with the uncountable nouns we use little a little or much with both countable and uncountable nouns we use hardly any a lot of some all so we have to know this we have to differentiate between little few a little a few as far as little and few are concerned they have a negative meaning similar to not much not many or almost none for example if i say there is little food in the house we'll have to bring some this means that there is nothing in the house left so we have to bring or buy something but on the other hand a little and a few with a have a positive meaning similar to a small quantity or some that's something left that is to say more than enough like for example eg means for example if i say there is a little food in the fridge if you're hungry it means that there is more than enough food so you can have it as your food so you can eat it from the fridge this is the positive meaning we also have to differentiate between some and any we usually use some in positive sentences and any in the questions and negatives or the question and negative sentences for example we say we are playing some games next month this sentence is positive which means musbata but there aren't any at the weekend here we have a negative the negative sentence that they aren't any we change some into any there aren't any at 
at the weekend. So if I ask you a question, have you got any money? I have to ask you a question, so use any. So we use some with the positive sentences, but we use any with the negative sentences. That's enough for today. Thank you, my dear students. Uh, that's all for unit uh, three. So in the coming weeks, we'll resume discussing the remaining units of the book. I have the pleasure to meet you today. This is presented by Dr. Mahmoud Abbas, a professor of linguistics and literature, faculty of Al-Alson, Ain Shams University. Thank you very much.